Remember athletes, it's about consistency first, then intensity. Transformation is about changing who we are through our habits. Your path to success, it's a journey. You are unstoppable. You are an athlete. Every day that we wake up able to enjoy the day with the health that we have is a gift. You know the goal is to become 1% better every single day. Your workout is done and your results are there. Unleash that unstoppable force within you. What's up athletes, welcome back. Today we're doing an intense six minute ab and core sculpting workout. Now, this is a no stop workout. So through these six minutes, we're gonna work through 12 different exercises, working for 30 seconds and then moving on to the next exercise without any breaks. Now, this is how it's gonna work. I'm gonna share with you your first movement. Then you're gonna check this box above to know what's coming up next. And all you're going to need to follow along with me today is your mat so that we're nice and comfortable and then I'm gonna also suggest that you have an ab mat so this is a little cushion that I place under my low back for support and if you don't have one of these at home you can just grab a pillow or a little cushion from off the couch to follow along and then I also have one medium weight dumbbell so today I'm gonna use a 10 pound dumbbell for some of the exercises that we're going to do and then finally I'm going to suggest that you follow along with an elevated surface nearby in case you need to modify some movements, particularly the plank. So instead of doing the plank on the floor on your knees, what we're going to do instead to gain strength and then to be able to progress to being able to do it on the floor is just getting into an elevated position. So from here, you're gonna see today that we've got some movements where we're going to be in a side plank position. So you're able to do this on your hand or even on your forearm if you're comfortable doing it that way. All right, athletes, now let's get started. We're actually gonna start off our first movement today with a plank hip drop. Now I'm gonna share with you this movement over here on the elevated surface. That's gonna be the modified version. Then we're gonna go ahead and get onto the floor when we get started. So you're gonna get into the plank position. And now the key with the plank is you wanna align the shoulders and the elbows. So I'm pushing my upper back towards the ceiling like I am a dolphin. So instead of letting everything just sag, we really tighten it up. We just pull all the way up to the ceiling and we're gonna hold over here. And now while we're in this position, we're gonna actually rotate around this imaginary line that we see that starts from the crown of the head all the way to the base of the spine. So instead of really getting out of alignment here, we're just gonna imagine that there's this line that we are rotating around. All right, so we're gonna do that for 30 seconds seconds and then as you check that box you know what your next movement is all right athletes now let's clear up some space let's get started remember it's only six six minutes so you'll be able to grab water afterwards try your best not to break if you have it in you all right here it is in three two one and go so now stay nice and tight here with me we're gonna just go ahead and Continue to breathe and notice how slowly I'm moving because this is really not about speed and oftentimes we think that we need to add intensity in order to really get the effect. But if you slow down and connect with every single muscle fiber that is working right now, you're gonna get a way more wicked burn and meaning a way more wicked result. All right, now let's come into a side plank position. You're gonna go ahead and grab one of your dumbbells and in this side plank position, you're gonna drop your hip and then come all the way up. Now you have this option, as mentioned, to get up on that elevated surface or you also can come on to the forearm, but we're only working for 30 seconds. So if you're able to keep this position for 30 seconds, try not to break, do your best. And in just a moment, we're gonna go ahead and switch to the other side. So again, move with control. Three, two, one. Okay, let's switch. Try not to take too long to switch set it up and then I like to stagger my feet so it could be the bottom foot in front or if you want you could put the top foot in front as long as you feel like you're not rotated you're just staying in that alignment we're gonna go for 10 more seconds and then we're gonna grab the ab mat or the cushion and place it behind our back and get our legs in a butterfly position for an overhead sit up all right and break so go ahead and grab that ab mat don't take too long, athletes. Now, feet together, knees out. Keep that weight up overhead. Keep the arms locked. You're gonna come all the way up. Imagine almost that you are 
passing your arm, your head rather through your arms to really get that effect. And in just a moment, we're gonna go ahead and do a Russian twist. Three, two, one. All right, stay here. You have now the option to keep the feet down or lift up here for an added challenge. And then just really focus here on the breath. Great work. And then we're gonna go to move the ab mat in just a moment and get on the floor. And we're gonna do a jack knife. That's it, continue to breathe. Five more seconds. Try your best not to move those legs. Three, two, one. All right, so on the back now. And in this jackknife position, if you wanted to add the intensity, you could lift up the head off the floor. However, really important that you're just feeling comfortable, that you're feeling no strain in the head or around the neck. And the goal really is just to focus on the core and not have anything else screaming at you that you need to stop. All right, now we're gonna drop that weight, keep those feet up, and then go ahead and go for some alternating heel taps over here. That's it, continue to breathe. More than halfway through now, I'm already feeling the most wicked burn. How is it going for you? All right, good job. And then we're gonna put the feet on the floor in just a moment and then go for a lateral heel tap. So now head is up, engage the core through the upper chest as well. So try not to just squeeze over here or strain the neck, but really wanting to think about lifting up the torso, actively lifting up the torso, continue to breathe and then stay in control. So it's a very small movement, but you're gonna already feel quite the burn on the sides here, on the obliques. All right, and in just a moment, let's get into a high plank position. So I'm gonna get up here into my high plank position, and from here, I'm gonna just touch the opposite knee. So it's gonna be an opposite knee tap. So in this position, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my best to stay in control, continue to breathe here, and then alternating. And then we're gonna just even it out in just a moment. We're gonna get on the belly and we're gonna do some Superman pull down. So come on down, create some space for yourself and then bring your arms up overhead. You're gonna lift up the legs and then bring your elbows down. So we're gonna squeeze through the back of the shoulders, really getting a good burn. But the burn also is coming from the glutes. So I don't want you to feel this in your back. I actually want you to feel this in your glutes. And in just a moment, we're gonna get into another high plank position here and finish up with a couple more plank movements. We're gonna do an alternating shoulder tap. Remember you have that option once again to get into that high elevated position to facilitate this. And in 10 seconds, we're gonna go ahead and switch to a spinal roll. So this one is gonna take some deep concentration. I really want you to move slowly here with me. And from here, you're gonna pick up the upper back and then imagine moving one vertebra at a time into a down dog position, lift up the heels here and then drop into that plank. Again, lifting up the upper back and really working slowly, one verte vertebra at a time, but lifting up through the core, maybe imagining lifting up through the belly button. And we're gonna just do one more over here. And three, two, one, and break. Good work, athletes, we made it. Congratulate yourself for showing up for you. Remember, if you wanna do one or two more rounds of this, go for it to really complete a core workout today or leave this as a finisher and then maybe check out the other workout I have linked for you at the end of this one to complete your training. I love to hear from you. So how did this go for you? What else would you like to see? What else would light you up and motivate you in your training? Now remember that if you're new here to subscribe and if you've liked this video to give me a thumbs up and then in the meantime let's go refuel, rehydrate and let's meet up in the next one. You got this.